In Space Watch now, Boeing's Starliner has safely returned to Earth after it was forced to abort its mission to the International Space Station last week. The spacecraft was supposed to bring Christmas presents, food and clothes, but because the capsule's clock was improperly synced with the space station, it ended up in the wrong orbit. So joining me now with the latest on the failed mission and the future of NASA's plan to return U.S. astronauts to the moon is CBS News senior space consultant Bill Harwood. Bill, with all this modern technology, cutting edge this and that, the clock wasn't synced, that was the problem? Yeah, you know, it's really kind of embarrassing. The, the clock was actually 11 hours off. Uh, and that caused the thing to use up a lot of rocket fuel. They couldn't get to the space station, so they had to call off that part of the mission. Now, I should point out, uh, this is not spacecraft uh, that's supposed to go to the moon. It's designed to carry astronauts to and from the space station. Boeing and SpaceX are building these ships for NASA. This was the maiden flight of Boeing spacecraft called the Starliner. Nobody was on board, but they couldn't go to the station, so that was a disappointment. Yeah, I know they had sort of a mannequin on board as kind of a bit of a test. I mean, that's the reason why you have these test flights to work out the kinks and stuff like that. But, Absolutely. you know, Boeing kind of needs some good pub. You know, they need some good publicity. Uh, I'm just thinking about the 737 MAX and all of that mess. And so it must have been, you know, quite a setback for them to have the uh, to have to sort of alter their launch and return back to Earth without docking with the space station. Well, I think they could have used a complete success at the end of, the, of a very troubled year for that company. Mm -hmm. But uh, I want to point out that the mission was, um, I hate, hesitate to say mostly successful, but it was a um, at least partially successful mission. The launch and landing went perfectly. And of course, those are the two highest risk regimes of flight for astronauts. So they did do that very well indeed. And, and in the meantime, in the past two days, they, they tested a lot of the systems that they would have tested anyway on a space station flight. So they got a lot of their objectives accomplished. The only thing they didn't do was go to the space station. So I don't know, you know, it's a, it's a good news, bad news thing. I think I would say the success was a little higher on the scale than the failure part. So I don't think it was totally disappointing, but you're quite right. I think they, they certainly would have appreciated a complete success to end this year. Well, maybe not disappointing for them, but what about all those astronauts? They've been nice, not naughty, no presents for them. <laughs> well, you know, they did get some presents on one of the more recent supply missions. Right. Uh, and really, you know, the point of this flight really uh, was to set the stage for launching astronauts next year. That is a huge deal for NASA. You know, they've been relying on the Russians ever since the shuttle was retired back mm. in 2011. And they really need to get these spacecraft flying. It's very important to the agency. So will this alter that timeline then, this sort of failure? Yeah, we, we don't know yet. You know, since they did do the launch and landing very well indeed, and given the cost of another unpiloted test flight, my guess is they will press ahead, they'll fix this problem. It seems relatively straightforward to fix. They're gonna fix this and I think they'll press on and on the next flight of the Boeing Starliner, I think you'll see a crew on board. Uh, but they haven't made that decision yet. They're gonna have to go back and review all this data but again, you know, the riskiest parts of the flight were flawless. So I think that's going to give them some, some ammunition, some rationale for proceeding uh, with piloted flights. Yeah, well, that would be good news. Uh, uh, Rosie, the uh, mannequin can retire then, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. You know, she came through the flight in perfect condition, by the way. <laughs> we can see her inside the cabin after landing. That's great. Uh, Bill Harwood, thank you so much. Sure thing.